All right, what's up? I uh, got a lot of response the other day from my boots that I did. These fuckers. Uh, I accidentally, when I went to seal this thing, I did the front. And it came out flat and clear just like I had intended. And then I did the back and just chalky white shit came out. And I just hit this bad boy up with acetone to try to save the figure. Because I want to make a... This is a Pata Brothers uh, from Marvel... Uh, I don't know if you know these guys. Uh, I got an AEW figure to see if he would work. Uh, cause he's also Mexican and covered in tattoos. Uh, but he's just not, he's not big enough. And I, and I got, you know, I just, it didn't look the same. Uh, and I was real happy with this cause, uh, I got these roadblock arms to go inside Hydra Man and I did it with, with clay. They ain't coming out. I did it with, uh, green stuff. Uh, and I had to, like, wait a while for these to go to get it. I was very proud of myself for getting these in there. Uh, I don't feel like explaining it. Uh, but anyway, so I'm gonna, I had a bunch of people message me and shit and ask me how I did leather. Uh, and I'm sure there's a million other ways better to do this. Uh, this is just the one that I, this is what I have found worked. So I usually have, I always have had an issue with washes. Uh, you know, I've tried to make my own. Here's a black one I tried to make. Uh, and it's just like every, it, even washes I bought, like I, I, when I go to wipe it away, or are you supposed to wipe it away if it's an actual wash, or is it supposed to blend on its own? I don't fucking know. Uh, you know, and every time I wipe it away, it just all goes away. So what I do is I just use fucking paint. Just straight up fucking paint. Uh, and in this case, I'm going to go with my darkest brown. I got my wet palette here. If you don't have a wet palette, get one. They're the shit. Uh, you know, they'll keep your paint. These are my paints from yesterday, and I'm still pretty much using them. Uh, anyway, so I have already uh, washed this figure with soap and water. Just regular dish soap. It's fine. Uh, and then I just go in here, and I just hit it. I hit the whole thing. And I, I'm really just going to focus on the boots, on the, the feet part for now. Uh, just for the sake of this video. Just to get, just to go. Uh, but anyway... Uh, and I hit it, and I want it to dry a little bit. So what you're about to hear is a blow dryer. Just a little bit dry. And then I've got a little shot glass full of water over here. Uh, and then what I do is I just go wipe it away. Uh, so just... And then I use my dry part too. Uh, and I'm hitting just real light, just getting down in there, in the crevice. Uh, and it doesn't matter if it spreads too much. Uh, let me see here. Because, you know, uh, we're about to go back over it. Let's go ahead and hit. I'm going to go ahead and hit the, the, the pad, too. Let me dry this brush off. Because I don't know if this is going to be cool enough here. Alright. So I'm hitting it. Getting in there. Trying to tap into my inner Bob Ross here. So please forgive me. Uh, this is, I've never done a video like this. I'm going to move this fucking thing. Alright. So... Got the whole shit. Got, got. I'm gonna kind of let it dry a little bit. And you can even leave. Technically, you could probably leave a lot of this paint there still. But again, trying to just enhance what is already there. Uh, and like I said, I'm sure there's painters out there that are million times better than me and actually know what they're doing it's just this is this is just what i've done and it, i like it this is what works for me uh okay so now you can kind of see just a little little difference nothing much uh but this has just got a little shading on it uh you can kind of see down in the in the little crevices of the leather and shit anyway so now 
I want to find one that's a little closer to the actual color of the uh, the boot. Uh, and I believe that is probably like this right here. Flashlight. So, and I'm gonna do with this. Now I'm gonna do like a pretty uh, uh, on the heavier side, like a dry brush. Um, pretty much just trying to kind of even out all the dark shit I just did. Uh, so, with that, I'm gonna dip, and I'm using the same brush, uh, and I'm gonna kind of just knock all my shit off here, and go back in there and just clean up everything that I just did. And I don't know how well you can see this on there, but uh, I, I think maybe just as long as you, you know, see the steps that I'm doing, it'll help. Uh, and we're just hitting that there, and it just kind of brings the, brings the color back up. Uh, it's weird, too, because I've always said, you know, when I'm showing these things to my wife, I'm like, look what I did. She has no fucking idea what I'm doing. I don't even know if people are going to be able to tell uh, how many, like, layers I put on this bitch. You'd be like, wow, there's a lot of color in there, but I can tell. And it's just cool to see when you're doing it yourself. Yeah, it really is. So anyway, now I've got a pretty heavy dry brush on there. Uh, and... Uh, uh, a wash you know uh, so I'm gonna come back here in a little in a second and uh, do another dry brush but and this next one will be well, not the next one, but here you'll see. Uh, so there, I just now I just brought it back to what I, you know, in my head I just call neutral state. So we went back one step with the uh, the wash, and then I brought it, and then I brought it back to neutral state. So now we're still at ground zero, uh, and I think like there's like three grounds, four grounds, and I've never actually said this in out loud. Uh, the ground thing, but whatever. We went back one with the wash, and I brought it back up. So now it just looks pretty much the same. This just has a little more detail. And I don't even know. I still don't know if you can see that shit. Uh, my lighting sucks. I've, again, never done this. But anyway, um, I want a little bit of a brighter color now. So this is a uh, flat earth. Uh, what's this? Perfect. Fur brown. All right. I'm going to hit it with some fur brown. All right. And then now I'm going to do a little bit of a lighter dry brush. Uh, and I'm probably going to go ahead and use an actual fucking feather brush. Uh, we use this one right here. Uh, all right. Anyway. Same thing. Just kind of get it off of there and then hit the high points. Hit like the weathered spots that'll be weathered real bad. Like the knee. You know, we'll hit that bitch right there. I don't know if you can see this transforming before your eyes. But it is. Oh, uh, here, let me see here. So, oh, whoops. All right. Hitting the high spots. Hitting the high spots. I was going to use this body to make a uh, beta ray bill. Uh, and I just haven't got around to it. Because I've got terrible fucking ADD. And this desk is actually full of 
70 unfinished projects because that is who I am as a person. Uh, but we are getting a lighter coat on here with the lighter. So now we're up two steps or to step two. Uh, so now again, if you can see the difference uh, between the two. Oh, it's just a little more like weathered but this next step is where the the cool shit comes into play uh, We're gonna put some yellow in that bitch and I'm gonna use this bright yellow right here. I've already got it in my damn shit uh, And I'm gonna use like this brush right here uh, like a and I just call it like a highlighter um and man, I'm gonna be real fucking liberal with, the, or uh, conservative with this shit. Oh, it's very wet. Uh, let me see here. I guess I'm gonna pour a little bit more right here. All right. So again, just the high traffic areas. So. You gotta take this fucking yellow and hit. Let's hit his knee real quick. Bam, right up there. And then all across here, since it's been weathered. All across the back of the boot. Let me see here. Um, let's see, hit it all along my right head. Let's get that. Right here on these corners. Bam. Bam. All along there. Alright, let me see here. Oh. Oh shit, sorry. Along here. Definitely the back of the boot. You can axe, because he's been axe kicking shit. Uh, you know, this area here. Yeah, there it is, right there. Boom. This area here. All this yellow. Right in there. Front of the boot. And that's how you make leather look weathered. That's hard to say. Leathered, weathered. Leathered, weather. Weathered, leather. Weathered, leathered. Fucking shit dick. Alright. Uh. Alright. So there's that. Now. And these. See these clamps right here? You want to like hit shit like that around the edge there. And don't worry about hitting the figure up there. You know what I mean? You're a badass and you know how to get that shit off, right? Already. So, uh, you know, just you want to hit, you want to kind of hit the high spots and the, the high traffic areas, uh, you know, right in there. And he's been walking a lot, so. And you can even use like a bright tan for this, but I'm telling you the 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 maybe for like step two or three, you know. But I'm telling you, uh, yellow is the is the is the the trick to this. Uh, it's always you know a color that you just were like, what the fuck? Uh, at least that's what I said. Some of you might be like, oh yeah, it makes perfect fucking sense. Uh, but to me, I was just like, huh, no shit, okay. Uh, and sure enough, man, fucking yellow, it really does, like, make it fucking just look like weathered leather. Uh, but, okay, so now from here, because this guy is a gangster, he has, uh, 
you know, he's got black soles on his boots, right? Because that's what gangsters do. So I guess a little bit of black paint. Right there. Put a little water in it. Like that. Mix it up. Fill my fucking bristles up real nice. Knock some off. And then hit these here. Fuck. Hit his soul, right? His soul will be black. Alright. And I'm obviously hitting this with a flat black. One time, man, I was making one of these custom figures, and 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 I work construction. Uh, I used to be an iron worker. Don't tell anybody that shit, cause all those guys are fucking stupid as shit. But uh, you know, I was one. Uh, and I so I know how like a boot forms after it's been walked in. Right down here, and then on the inside. Right here, there's a, the soles come down on, on the back, on the insides of the back. And I tried to sand a fucking figure's feet like that, not thinking that I wanted this motherfucker to stand up still. Uh, you know, but don't want to be too real with these fucking things. But anyway, uh, we will weather this one uh, with a light gray so here is your black soul gonna get this little boy's hole All right. and I've also used uh, for step one for the wash on uh, leather I've also used black uh, and I did that on Cable's boots, and they came out fucking cool as shit. Because then on the next layer, I did another, like, wash, kind of, in certain spots, uh, with a brown. Uh, and it did. It came out looking pretty goddamn clean. Uh, but anyway. Here's this. Just, we'll just do a little bit. This doesn't matter. I don't give a fuck about any of this. Alright. So now we've hit that shit. Oh, goddamn devil worship and fuck. Meant to hit this shit. All right, so I got a little gold here, and we're just gonna we're just gonna pop this bad boy right there with some flashy gold, cause this is an Asgardian. Gotta have some shit. Is Thunderstrike Asgardian? I don't know. I don't know about it. Fucking Thunderstrike. I just remember the pictures from when I was a kid. The fucking Thor with the beard and the jacket. Looking like a goddamn man. Uh, anyway. Uh, so there's that. Alright, now weathering the souls. The soul. I'm gonna weather this little boy's hole. That is a reference to a show, by the way. I'm not just talking about little boys' holes. You gotta pay the troll toll to get this little boy's soul. But Dan DeVito keeps saying hole, and he doesn't realize it. It's very funny. It's very classy television. Uh, Alright, so now a light gray. Let me see here. I like, I like uniform gray. Uh... That's what I use, and it's the perfect gray uh, for when you're dealing with the X-Force figures, to be perfectly honest with you. Uniform gray from Army Painter. Hey, get out here, dude. Leo, no. You just chill. It's not even raining. Fucking pussy-ass dog. All right. So... We're gonna get a, another little fucking shitty brush. Like this one right here. Used to be an angle at one point. You know, with a broken freaking neck. 
Uh, but anyway, uh, so we can get some of that off of there. And we're going to lightly brush. Do like a little dry brush around the edges. Right there. Oh, fuck, I'm not even on camera. Goddamn, goddamn. I bet I did that a hundred times. I know. I'm sorry. But you're getting the steps, I think. You know, anybody who's watching this is gonna be is gonna know what I did. Uh, you know, I mean, really, if you're painting action figures and you wanted to know how I got the weathered look on the fucking leather, really, all you needed to hear me say was yellow, really. Uh, but. And the the cool thing about this uh, with the gray is once it's like there's a lot off of here, you can kind of still like go clean some shit up, you know, kind of just uh, darken down any of the shit, the, the high points that you got. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to do some more yellow right here. And I'm using the same brush. I didn't clean it or nothing. I'm crazy as shit. But I want some more, uh, I want some more right here in this little spot. Look at that. You can't. Okay. This little, this little ring around here, I want some. And I want it right in there. Boom. I want some more right here. It looks a little green, but whatever. And so, then you go seal it. So now, there is, let's get you out of this shit right here. Let me see if I can do this without. Ah. Ah. Thunder Strikes boot. Weathered. Pretty. G -g gold and uh you know it looks a little better than it did uh but that's it see there's all my unfinished projects look at all that cyclops and loki and pile of shit all right anyway that's it